Hey, good morning YouTube. Man, it is me again, your favorite Texas trucker coming to you today from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I delivered yesterday in uh, Paul's Valley, Oklahoma, just south of here, and, and uh, there wasn't anything else available. I had a load set up for $269 a mile, but it took so long to get me unloaded that I couldn't get to it in time, so we lost that load. Now I'm picking up over here at Quad Graphics in Oklahoma City, and we're going to deliver that down to Deer Park, Texas, which is uh, part of Houston. You know, it's one of the subdivisions of down there in Houston. So, you know, we'll deliver that. It delivers tomorrow morning. I wish there was a way that I knew that I could get off of it tonight. If I could get off of it tonight, I'd run it straight through. But I don't know anything about this place where I'm delivering to, so I really don't know if I'm going to be able to get off of it or not. And I uh, don't want to take the chance of getting out there and then finding out that I can't do anything with it. And i got to try to scramble for a parking spot over there in Houston, which ain't the easiest place in the world to get yourself parked. So what I think I'm going to do is run it down to as close as I can get to it, you know, find me some parking, and then just go ahead and deliver it in the morning and hope that something else comes up. Um... But I wanted to give you a little bit of an update, and then I've got uh, something that I want to talk to you about. Uh, on the update, uh, the belt squeal that I've been having, you know, that I've been having all that trouble with. Uh, I told you I didn't know whether it was uh, all uh, tension or pulley or, uh, or a uh, clutch brake going out on, or a clutch going out on my uh, air conditioning compressor. Well, it turned out it wasn't either of them. Um, I'm still playing catch up on that ECM issue, you know, almost $5,000 in repairs. And um, I've done a few minor things since then, but I haven't really been able to put a book back any more money. Um, yeah, I'm using it up, fixing stuff as fast as I make it, you know. And and, uh, and so anyway, uh, I, I let my dispatcher know that I needed to find something where I could do it, you know, someone where I could know get some work done on it in a couple of days I was late over at the house over the holidays and turns out her husband's a diesel mechanic uh, Jerry Bevins and uh, that's what he does for a living and, and on his spare time he tries to uh, you know drum up some business working on trucks given a discounted rate um, helps us out you know and gives him some money in his pocket you know so and you know we all know these days anybody we can use all the money we can get you know what I mean so, um, you know, I hollered at him, had him come over and look at the truck, and he figured he could fix it. One of the problems was that when I threw that air conditioning com uh, compressor belt, when they put the new belt on, they put a, uh, the belt they put on was about an inch too long. So the adjustment on the belt was all the way out, and there wasn't any more room to adjust, and it was a little loose. Um, and then the, uh, the fan belts, the two fan belts were loose uh, for the engine fan. And the alternator belts, the two alternator belts were loose. And so what he did is he loosened all that up, checked my pulleys, determined my pulleys were all good, tightened everything up. Then I had an exhaust leak where I had a bad clamp that had rotted, so he replaced that, got that fixed for me, and then uh, found another exhaust leak. Unfortunately, it was too late to go back and get another part for it, so I got to get another clamp. We're going to fix that later. He identified several problems with the truck that I'm going to need to uh, address here pretty soon. Um, the fuel pump gaskets leaking, the oil pump gaskets leaking, the oil pan gaskets leaking, um, and all three of those gaskets need to be replaced. And I've got a little bit of movement in my um, in my engine fan clutch, so the engine fan clutch is going to have to be replaced here pretty damn soon. Uh, turbo is leaking a little bit. And, um, and that's not a good sign, so i got to replace the turbo. I'm trying to find um, some way to do it a little bit cheaper than what uh, Kenworth and International want for it. They want $1,316.25. So, you know, it's like I said, you know, every time I turn around, I'm having to fix something, replace something. And, and uh, yeah, I've gone a, a couple of months without having to do any major repairs, so... Um, this week was the first week I was able to just put money aside in the savings. I don't know that it's going to be enough. I'm probably going to have to ask uh, Triple C to cover the cost of the turbo and uh, and uh, cover the cost of the of uh, the, the repair by uh, by Jerry. 
Uh, but Jerry's going to fix all that stuff for me. He's looking at a place where maybe I can get my turbo rebuilt while I'm on home time. Um, I don't know how that's going to work out. You know, we'll just have to see. But um, he is, you know, he is working on it for me and, and getting it all, you know, straightened out. And that's an awesome thing. I think probably one of the most important things for an owner operator is to be able to find a good mechanic that they can trust and they can rely on, you know, that's not going to gouge them for that $110, $120, you know, an hour. And, and uh, you know, I'm not going to discuss Jerry's rates, you know, because, uh, uh, you know, I don't know if he charges everybody the same thing I never asked. You know, I know what he charged me and I know that it was less than half of what I would have paid anywhere else gave me a damn good deal you know so um if you're looking for a mechanic in this area you know the weatherford uh weatherford texas fort worth uh springtown area he lives in springtown um you know the southern end of springtown and uh you know hit me up you know and i'll hook you up and y'all too can discuss his rate you know and but i tell you that you're going to save a lot of money working with him he's a good mechanic and he, he cares about putting us back on the road again you know and he's not going to screw you around so uh, you know, he, he's looking for business, you know, to, to try to supplement his income. And, you know, if you need work done, he's a good he's a good one to have on your side, you know. So uh, just putting that out there for him. Anyway, uh, I got up here, and, and that's kind of the update on the truck, you know. I mean, I, I did get some work done to it. Oh, he adjusted my brakes. My brakes were way out of adjustment. I think one of the, one of the uh, push rods had a two and three quarter inch travel on it. So he put all those back in adjustment again and checked my differential fluid, checked my transmission fluid, made sure everything was all right there. And uh, I think that because in order to replace the oil pan gasket, we're going to have to dump all the oil. Um, I think when I put the new oil in it, I'm going to go ahead and top off the differential at the same time. So um, you know, we're going we're gonna to get started on that hopefully this coming weekend. Or not this coming weekend, but next weekend. Uh, I come home on the 17th, so this is right after Labor Day right here. Uh, anyway, uh, I said I had something else I wanted to talk to you about. And, uh, you know, I want you to consider it. I've got a couple of friends of mine that are owner-operators. Right? And, and there's various amount of issues that they've dealt with. One of them has completely gone out of business, got rid of his truck. Um, and he's a company driver now. Uh, one just came into being an owner operator, you know, within just a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, and um, you know, and he's in his first couple of weeks, which are the hardest weeks, believe it, they're the hardest weeks, um, you know, and, and so he's coming into that. And then you've got um, uh, a friend of mine that's got a couple of trucks. And, and uh, she signed on with the company and she's not happy with the rate she's getting so she's looking to move her trucks around possibly coming over to triple c i don't know we'll see um you know and, and uh, anyway people in just various stages and a lot of them surprisingly don't seem to understand the dynamics um, of what's going on out here you know they, all they know is that they're not making as much today as they were making you know, last year, they're not making as much today as they were expecting to make based on things they had heard about last year. Last year was arguably the best year in trucking since 2008. This year, they say, is the worst year in trucking since 2008. So, you know, in just this uh, one year time, we've gone from the, the best to the worst. And, and uh, you know, and, and that's definitely a major issue for us. Uh, and they may be done loading it. I don't know. We'll see here in a second. Anyway, that's a, a major issue with us. And um, uh, it, it's something that we definitely have to pay attention to. Hold on one second. All right, man. They are uh, they're done loading me. And uh, I got to hit the road. So let me go ahead and cut this video off right here. And... Uh, I'll come up back and I'll do a second video later on today on the uh, second part of the stuff I wanted to talk to you about. So, uh, man, y'all take care. And I uh, hope you enjoy the videos. Uh, got some ideas to do some things a little bit different. But, uh, 
I ain't exactly too sure yet, so y'all just stay tuned. We'll see what happens. And uh, y'all take care and peace out.